everybody. What I want to do is I want to show you how to set up your values axis in Adobe Illustrator charts. So let me show you how to do that. I have a page open and I just want to select one of my chart tools. This is the column graph tool. I'm just going to double click on that. So now that brings me up my graph options and it says type over here. This shows me what type of graph that I want to use. Let's say I wanted to make a line chart. All right, so this is the data set that I want to use. And notice that my highest percentage on this set is 90%. If I were writing a proposal, I would want my y-axis to go from 0 to at least 90%. I might want to do to 100%, so there's a little buffer at the top. But let's go 0 to 100% in increments of 10, all right? So I'm going to go back to my graph tool, and I'm still in the type panel. And I'm going to go here, and I have three options. I have graph options, which I could select a different type of graph, and I can select some of the parameters for the graph. I have value axis, which in this case is going to be my y axis, or the category axis, which is the x axis. So I'm going to click on the y axis, and right now it's going to automatically, whatever data I put in there, just choose numbers for me. I don't want that. I, I already said in my proposal I was going to go 0 to 100%. So I'm going to click Override Calculated Values. And I'm going to say that I want it to start at 0. And that my maximum I want to be 100. And since there are 10 different numbers, I want 10 divisions. I can also select the length of my tick mark here. I could have no tick mark at all. I could have a short one, which is the default. Or I could have it do the full width. I usually drag it out to the full width and make it a dotted line anyway, so let's go with full width. I could also go to my category axis, which is the x-axis, and I can decide if I want it to have a short tick mark or a long tick mark, and I'm just going to leave that at the default right now. So I'm going to click OK there. Now that should give me the opportunity to draw out my chart, so let's draw it out like that. Notice that my y-axis is now already filled in. I'm going to go to my data. This is the data I want to work with. One thing though is it's in percentages and Illustrator does not like percentages so I have to get those percentage signs out there. Let's say if I just wanted to change it to a number instead of a percentage. See it says percentage here. If I change it to number look what happens. It turns it into decimals. I don't want the decimals. I want full numbers. So I'm going to go back to percentage. And here's what I got to do to change this from a percentage to a number without a percent sign. I'm going to put the number 100, and I'm going to copy it, select these, edit, paste special. So I want to multiply these by 100 to get rid of the percent sign, so I'm just going to click multiply, click OK. And you see now my numbers are correct. That's how I change the numbers. Now I'm just going to copy them and paste them over. Select it all, Command C, I'm going to move back to my chart. Command V, it's all in there. Now, what I want on this axis is my dates. Right now it looks like they are there. So I'm going to click the check mark, and you can see all my lines are in. I've got the dates at the bottom. I've got my different colors of the lines, and I can now format and change it as I want. You can see that that's a very handy thing, that you can set the axes up ahead of time. So now I'm free to do whatever I want. I can make some adjustments. I can change the sizes of things and scales and colors. But you can see how quickly I made that chart. It only took a few seconds. So that's what you want to do.